Welcome to a, another session of Uncommon Ground. Today my guest is Anthony DeSimone. And Anthony, you're from New Jersey. Whereabouts? So, uh, Bergen County, Maywood, New Jersey. Maywood. Okay. And what year are you in for our audience? I'm a sophomore right now. Sophomore. And when you came here, did you know anybody? or? Uh, I had met a few kids through the, the regional meetups that Sacred Heart oh, okay. does. Um, and some kids that I was familiar with from my high school also coming here. Uh, and then I had gotten involved in a pre-fall program. I did the business pre-fall program oh, good. to kind of help my transition. Uh, I meet a, meet a group of friends who I feel like I'm comfortable with. And how did you find the pre-fall program? Um, I remember Sean Heffron actually talking about, you know, different pre-fall programs when I was going through like open house process and visits on campus and things like that. So when I had finally decided to come to Sacred Heart, I, I made it a point to apply and you know, I had a great time doing it. So. Why do you think the pre-fall program was important for you? Um, I, I knew that it would be a group of like-minded students who were studying something similar to me and also would be, you know, wide-eyed considering college was a new experience sure. for all of us at the same time. Uh, so I, I thought that was something really important to connect with kids who were kind of feeling the same thing sure. as I was. Sure. So that's why. Was and so now you're in your sophomore year, yep. going into your third semester. How do you find Sacred Heart? Did it, is it what you expected? Um, it's what I expected and uh, a whole lot more. So uh, it's coming from somebody who really liked, you know, being here the moment I stepped on campus. I mm -hmm. think the first time I was here, I was still a junior in high school. So it's been everything I thought it could be and, and so much more with the opportunities and things that I've been able to do and the ways I've been able to grow so far. Uh, talk about some of those, the opportunities and the growth. Sure. Um, so I'm involved in a decent amount on campus. Uh, this past June, I was an orientation leader. I've had oh, a chance to assist and teach a first year experience course. Um, I'm a Welch mentor now and a member of the marketing team in the Welch corporate structure uh, and I do play club football here so I'm involved in quite a bit uh, and all those opportunities you know have come pretty easily and I've enjoyed every single one of them through the school. So. I would uh, guess, I could be wrong, but you can, that with each of those different involvements you have a different set of friends. Yeah, I definitely. A, a lot of different circles that I'm in, you know, kids obviously when I'm in the Welch corporate structure and doing things through the business school. Uh, obviously business majors and people like that, people studying similar things to me sure. and then when I play club football and go out and do different things like orientation, there's people from all different majors and backgrounds and things like that, so very diverse group. Do you think that has helped you grow or just made it more cumbersome for you? Um, I definitely think it's helped me grow. You know, anytime you can draw, I think for me, anytime I can draw from people who have different experiences than me and also similar ones, like there's benefits to both sides of mm -hmm. that, so I think that's been tremendous help to me so far. Now you come in as a freshman three semesters ago and just literally knowing a few. Um, how was it? Was it uh, overwhelming? Was it, uh, did it make you nervous or you just went into it? Yeah, you know, for me over the summer I remember before finally coming to campus I was nervous about like, you know, how am I going to fit in? Where am I going to fit in? Like what groups am I going to be a part of and <clears throat> clubs and things like that. So. And then when I finally got here and everyone sort of on campus from students all the way up to, you know, higher ups are talking about, you know, get involved, find, find things that you want to do and get involved right away. And I really took that to heart. I didn't really waste any time with that. Um, you know, I actually got involved in student government last year and things like that. So oh, good. I, I really, you know, took that to heart and made that a point. That's great. And what are you hoping to do after you finish? Yeah, um, so right now I'm a marketing and sports management uh, double major uh, in the business school. I'm hoping, you know, to kind of open more doors for myself in the business world with that double major and hopefully, you know, fulfill my passion of working somewhere in the, the sports business side of things. Gotcha. Uh, I'm not too sure. And year. are you preparing for an internship this summer? I actually am right now, yes. I'm having, you know, some of my professors in the business school help me with resume building and, uh, you know, my LinkedIn profile and things Good. like that. So getting ready to apply for some training. Yeah, those, are, those experiences are priceless, uh, both for you and then also for a future employer to see that you're doing that. Um, may change over the next uh, two and a half years, but uh, as of now, where do you like hanging out? Uh, my favorite spot, if I have to be productive, is uh, the lounge kind of outside Einstein's in the business school on the couches oh, or sure. either at those tables. Um, and if not, then I'll go hang out with Coach Jones up at the, the Pitt Center, my club football coach. Oh, great. So. Great. Uh, so Einstein's in there. That's, yeah. that's great. Good coffee there, too. Yeah, I love some of not bad. And if you had to sum up your three semesters here at Sacred Heart, 
in a word, what would it be? Uh, I'd say they've been full of improvement, which is, again, coming from coming from someone who loved the campus the minute he stepped on it, to, to see it improve even past that has been something almost remarkable and something I couldn't have predicted. I didn't think, you know, it could possibly get any better. And from an external standpoint, you know, new spaces on campus and, and obviously the addition of West Campus. And then internally as well, like the school has really grown a lot, providing more, more and more opportunities. So no regrets? None, none whatsoever. That's great. Well, enjoy your rest of your semester. You've got two and a half years with, with us. Thank so you very good luck. Much. Thank Thanks, you for having Nathan. me. Dr. Thank you. Thank you.